Eflin's got his signs. Real Muto sets up outside. The 3-2 pitch. Swing and a fly ball. Shallow center field. Coming on is Marsh. Still coming on. Makes the catch. The ball game is over. The drought is over after 11 seasons. The Philadelphia Phillies are going back to the postseason. They'll represent the National League as a wild card representative. And they celebrate behind the mound. And this is a long time coming. Well, you talk about a total team effort from these guys. I mean, everybody from the starters to the relievers and so many different combinations and permutations of players. And they finally got it done. And just a tre tremendous job by Rob Thompson keeping things together. Keeping things together. They were under 500 when Rob Thompson took over. He's won 65 games as the skipper of the fight and fills. They asked for Red October for the last several years, and guess what? They have stormed into Red October. They didn't have to rely on anybody in Milwaukee tonight. They just relied on themselves here in Houston. And how fitting was it that Aaron Nola pitched the, the, the type of game that he pitched tonight, and it was finished off by his best friend getting his very first save opportunity and very first major league save in Zach Eflin. Aaron Ola went six and two thirds scoreless here tonight. A remarkable choice by Rob Thompson to select Zach Eflin to try to close the door. He probably represents the ups and the downs of this season as much as anybody else. Hey, there's a guy who was going to start who started off the season as like a number three starter and because of his knee issues could not go and and for him to battle back and the last thing, the one thing that he wanted to do Zach Eflin was to make sure that he finished off the season pitching and he finished it off the 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 clinching game by getting the, the last save I mean it's just just amazing Aaron Noah is our Chevrolet player of the game six and two thirds. Oh, he's fired up. That's a lot of frustration that he's had over the course of his career. And, so much. And JT as well, who has not been in the postseason either. And he's Hoskins, obviously very jubilant. And how about the celebration of Phillies fans that are behind the dugout yeah. here in Houston? Gene Segura, we mentioned he's got the longest drought of anybody in Major League Baseball without getting into the postseason. He's all smiles. Ruben mentioned JT. He's number two. The list of pitchers includes Aaron Nola and Zach Wheeler. And you've got to feel great for all the guys who are, you know, all the people, the coaches and staff members that are here grinding it out every single day. I mean, this is a total team effort. More so now than at any other time. The medical people, the people that are working in the clubhouse, all the analytics folks, everyone who contributed to this, uh, to this season and they should all feel very, very mm. proud right now. It's a great, great feeling. And you know what? Bryce Harper, there's been a lot put on his shoulders after he signed the big deal to come to Philadelphia. He watched his former team win, win a world championship while he was in Philadelphia. But here he is taking the Phillies, helping to take the Phillies. He didn't just take them. He's helped them go to the postseason for the first time since 2011. Yeah, as I said, I mean, uh, this is an MVP type player and he's been struggling a little bit lately but he did some serious damage before he was before he was hurt again and breaking his thumb but uh, but he's about bounced back and it's been just uh, just been a great overall team effort and thanks to the uh, Houston Astros who showed an awful lot of class by putting congratulations Philadelphia up on the big board in right center field that's really cool it's really cool. Second time the Phillies have clinched a postseason berth here in Houston. The last time was 2011.